Hey my lovelies, um, hope you're all doing well today. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers, thanks for being here. And I wanna give a big congratulations to the two free giveaway winners. You're welcome <laughs> and well done. Um, so anyway, today's reading is what's their karma for hurting you. So for group one, we have the card that says signs and it says messages are to be seen and heard. I have toned down the ring light but apologies for the glare when I lift them up so we've got earth for group two you gain what you work for and for group three we have gift the treasure inside so take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force anything don't forget I do energies as well if it's not your pile choose another pile if your reading is not here if your story is not here um I have a massive playlist with all my karma readings um and I see you at your groups Hey group one, so before we get started, apologies for the noise, the window's open, we've finally got some heat, some sun, <laughs> typical British weather, but anyway, um, yes, yeah, so before I get started, there has been a couple of people that still complain about my karma readings because they don't want to hear whether this is your pile or not, they don't want to hear about the story, like, you know, what happened to you, and I have pointed out that I could go into a karma reading and just talk about karma, but you don't know who that's for, okay? So I like to go into what what happened, but what I'm going to be doing from now on is you don't want to hear what happened. You want to just go straight into karma. I'm going to leave a, a timestamp with karma, okay? So it'll have the timestamp from the beginning of the reading and timestamp from just going straight to the karma, okay? So anyway, group one. <sighs> this this card literally says it all so and i do get this quite a bit in my karma readings you know and i do hear people say this and i even say it myself is how do people get away with karma for so many years you know especially they're such bad people and trust me i've met a lot of bad people and you're just like what the hell you know and then you've got the good ones that do their karma or receive their karma so spirit is trying to say to you look for the signs because there is some kind of synchronicity going on here with giving you messages now i'm getting quite a lot from this um card here so it could be trust your intuition could be something being given to you through your dreams as well group one um there may be certain birds that you're seeing as well so spirit is saying we are listening to you it, it, it will happen, but it, it happens on their time, okay? It doesn't, I mean, and I know people don't want to wish bad karma on anyone, but like I said, you can't wish bad karma on people. You just receive karma. Um, yeah, your messages are being seen and heard very clearly. I don't know if you can see that, but never mind. Let's get started. Okay, I don't even get out any cards. I'm freaking useless. Okay. So let's quickly go into what the, who this person is, what they did, and then we'll go into the karma. So spirit, tap me into group one, please, spirit. And what did this person do to hurt group one? Who is this person and what did they do? Um, I'm seeing friendship vibes here, okay? Oh, my goodness, my Nine of swords in reverse. This person caused you a lot of anger. Oh, oh my god! Maybe this person doesn't want me talking about them. Um, you, you are dealing with a narcissist. Eight of cups as well. This is someone that either you walked away from. They walked away from you. I feel like it may have been you that finally walked away from this person. You released this person. You let them go. It wasn't easy. So this could have been maybe a boss situation as well because the King of Swords can be seen as a, as a as a boss figure or a father figure even a friend that had these traits as well you're looking at someone that, when my king of swords comes out in reverse that is narcissistic so you're looking at somebody that was um this was a power hungry person like a dictator you know i'm picking up boss that maybe you thought that they, this person was a friend, someone that you can trust. This person caused, caused you a lot of anxiety. So you need to take what resonates here. So, you know, we get quite a few messages for people. So it could be a boss or it could be a friend that had this 
these tendencies of being na very narcissi narcissistic. This person was very aggressive, very brutal, could have been very controlling, maybe had violent outbursts as well, guys. No integrity whatsoever. So we're looking at a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me a bit more about the Three of Cups and the King of Swords. What did this person do? Your cards are just like coming out. They took something from you. Ace of Coins in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm trying to push that up. I'll just put that there. Five of Swords in reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune, oh, in reverse. Now, here's Karma. These always come out in Karma readings. And then we've got the Ten of Wands. Okay. This person made you miss out on an opportunity here, Group 1. So I feel like this is a work environment. It may have be even been a group of people. But you missed out on something that should have been given to you with the way this person was. You know, they, they were very, very sneaky. See, with the Ten of Wands on the back of the deck, it makes me wonder whether this person, this person caused you so much stress. You were exhausted. You had a lot of responsibilities. It's like, I feel like the workload was put on you and then this person sat back and, and let you take the blame for certain things here. But you missed out on maybe a promotion or a pay rise here and hence why you may have had to leave. Maybe you were pushed out. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this, is, this person's an a-hole. So in the end, you ended up with financial struggles as well. Yeah, this, this is someone who didn't handle business management in a good way. They handled it in a very brutal, aggressive way. You know, this Wheel of Fortune, this is actually quite bad karma, okay, bad luck. It's a lot of upheaval, a lot of disorder. It's... Unfort like a lot of unfortunate events that happens to someone and this is what this person did they made your life miserable to the point of you were struggling with your mental health your finances were struggling i feel like you may actually have lost your job group one or you had no choice but to walk away from this situation here so that might be why this person's receiving the karma because i feel like this is this still bothers you to this day group um one, because of how you were treated. So let's get some, let's go into the karma now, guys. So I like to do tarot cards first, and then I go into the oracle cards, and I got a new deck, so I'm hoping it's going to work out well. Do you know how hard it is to freaking find certain decks for karma? Okay. So what will this person's karma be, spirit, for her in group one? What will their karma be? So we have the six of swords. What will their karma be? Page of pentacles in reverse and reverse. Because <laughs> these are vice versa. We've got the... Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Here we go, like for like. And then we have, what are you? Oh, is that the High Priestess? Hang on a minute. No, it's the Empress in reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh, this person's not going to be having a good time. So we do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, guys. So, with the Six of Swords, this person is going to be expecting a lot of trouble that's coming towards themselves, okay? So this, I feel like it is a lack of progress. So if they pushed you out on receiving a promotion or an increase or whatever, because this person made a lot of bad business decisions and choices and things like that financial choices whatever 
it's going to catch up with them. So they've got trouble coming towards them in quite a big way. And if you notice, it, it's to do with finances here, exactly how you, it was affected you. So they're going to be receiving some kind of uh, bad news in regards to money, money. So it could be maybe they're, they're going to be taking a pay cut. Maybe they're even going to lose their job group one because even with the nine of pentacles in reverse, this is not good neither. It's Okay. Something here to do with the company, okay, they overspend. So they may have over. you know when I said about the bad business decision that they, they made? So it could be they overspent, so they bought into something that cost the company a lot of money. Or it could be they've been dwindling money, if you know what I mean, you know, like siphoning money from the company, like say taking a, like a little bit of money there and a little bit of money there. This is going to catch up with them. The Empress in Reverse. Mm. Okay, I, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. So this could be a feminine. I, I'm going to, you know, maybe you, you don't really care. But, you know, you've got to be careful how you, you word these things. So part of their karma is, is quite harsh, is... If this person has been trying for children, they are not going to be able to conceive because they're going to have, you know, um, is it fertility problems? Yeah. So. This problem's going to, this energy as well, guys. So maybe they go on their looks. Maybe they think they're really like, you know, really beautiful and they think like they're the big I am. They're going to be putting on weight as well. I know that <laughs> I don't know why that came through, but it did come through. So this person is literally a social climber, and because of their immaturity and their lack of trust, and they're emotionally abusive. This is literally what is going to be catching up with them. So they're going to be having problems in the pregnancy department they're also going to be having problems with something to do with work that they could end up losing their job because they made a bad bad financial decision here you know and this happens in the workplace i've experienced this myself all right let's try these so what is the karma for this person that hurt group one so these are called tough luck okay i just purchased them they took two weeks to come because everything from america takes so long <laughs> so we've got repeatedly being taken advantage of now i was going to say something here as well so i don't know whether you're aware of this because of these two cards the yeah these two cards coming out in reverse group one i'm not sure whether this person has been cheated on or they have been unfaithful and that is coming out as well so there's that then we've got inability to achieve goals which we saw that so what is this person's karma for her in group one feeling out of place or disconnect disconnected Habitual negative thinking. Okay. See, now this person may have been so confident with with the way they... Like I said, this person put themselves on a pedestal. Not anybody else. They put themselves on the pedestal. So what is going to happen now is they're going to be knocked off that throne, knocked off that pedestal, and they're going to start thinking really negatively about themselves. And they're not going to be able to change that mindset of how they think about themselves. Maybe there's something here as well, group one, that they're going to have to look at themselves in a negative light because of what they've done to other people. This person will trample on anybody to get ahead of everybody else. And I feel like, you know, like I said, this could have been a friendship group. It could have been a friend at work that you thought was your friend that had your back. Strange, strange relationships, frequent accidents or mishaps, repeated patterns of failure, which we saw. What is their karma?
Right, so we've got difficulty in expressing oneself. Feeling unfulfilled or empty. And that might be why, you know, maybe if they're trying for a, a child, that could be why as well. Tendency to engage in self-sabotage. So they could be... You know where this person was always one step ahead of everybody else? It looks like they have a tendency to sabotage their own life now. You know, can't avoid karma. So what is this person's karma for her in group one? I had to give my daughter a really big lecture the other day because she did something. And she's not like that. She is quite a gentle soul, but she did something quite spiteful. And I sort of get it because this girl bullied her at school. And I said to her, you've got to let that go. That happened a couple of years ago. And anyway, I really did tell her off for being really mean. I said, you know, karma always comes back. <laughs> and then it worries her when I say that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a big believer. What you put out, you get back. So look at this, children's services. Um, so if this person does have children, because we do have the empress that can be a mother, there could be children's services uh, involved with this person. Oh, jeez. Seriously, that was a lot. So we've got amputation. That's extreme. These cards are extreme, by the way, guys. These ones. Unexpected, unalive. Oh, the big C. Ooh. Hair loss. Paralyzed or crippled. This, this person looks like they're going to be... Look at all the health problems... Emergency patient entrance are hospitalised. Secrets exposed. So like I said, if this person has been stealing from the company, um, dwindling money, that's going to come out. If they were cheating, that's going to come out as well. They could maybe expect a fire in the home. And we've got the fun stuff that people like to take. Some people, not everybody, some people. Okay, let's get you an angel number, my loves. If I can actually grab them. Oh, so cute. I've been meaning to sort out my desk for a while and um, I've just been lazy. <laughs> right, so angel number for group one. Oh, get over. So you've got two, two, two. Um, angel of Hanel. Hanel bathes you in the soft glow of moonlight, enchanting your intuition. Now, I said at the beginning, trust your intuition. Uh, trust your feelings and embrace your heightened sensitivity during this time. Intuition, moonlight, sensitivity. So maybe when it's a full moon or maybe you work well, group one, with the moons. Um, the What is it called? The moons, whatever. Phases, phases of the moon. Oh, I don't know. I've been told that I work well with the the phases of the moon you know when they're in certain thingies but i've never really listened to it <laughs> oh dear what am i like i should but anyway so question time for you my loves any question you want to ask ask away now for group one please spirit and you've got two so we've got in June, which is this month, and in July. Okay. So in June, it says, believe that you can have what you desire so your experiences match that energy. And in July, you have what you are asking about may require to take a leap of faith. This is a time to trust. Interesting. So my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate you all. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. You guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group two. So before we get started, sorry about the noise. The window's open. We finally got some nice weather. Finally, British weather for you. And also, some people have been complaining about my karma readings, but I'm not going to change it up, okay, guys? I like to go into what happened briefly 
you know, so you know that it's your pole instead of just going straight into karma because you don't know who you're reading for. It doesn't make sense. And I have explained this before. It does not make sense. So what I'm going to do is you have a timestamp for when the beginning, like the start of your pile. And then there'll be a timestamp for just the karma if you just want to hit on that and just listen to the karma. OK, so let's get started, guys. Pile two. I'm getting a lot of sadness from you guys. Whatever happened to you guys. Um, so your card says earth so it says you gain what you work for some of you may have lost a home some of you may have lost an income and it's like you're trying to build your life back up and if you actually look okay there's like a shack here and I don't know whether that's a tornado or I don't know there's like See, now with the Lenormand cards, okay, with the clouds are always something that's like going on in our mental health or things are really, really bad. But we see the sun shining through here and things are going to start getting better for you, okay? But you've had to rebuild something. Something got taken away from you. So it could be land, it could be a home, it could be just your job. That's why I'm picking up quite a lot of sadness. So let's see what this energy did, who they are, and then we're moving to the karma. So tap me into group two, please, spirit, and tell me what did this person do to hurt group two? What did they do? Judgment. Oh, look at that. It's literally what I just said. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. It's literally what I just said with that card. There may have been um, a court case or a judgment that didn't go in your favour. This person was very clever, okay? It was in regards to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles does speak of property. It speaks of land, ownership, um, you know, your income, your security here. And that is what was taken away from you. You, you were ruined, the Ten of Swords and the Tower together is the ultimate betrayal, backstabbed, and I don't think you saw it coming. The Tower is, you thought you were secure in whatever this situation you were in, but you wasn't. This person took it all away from you, all of it. And now you're having to put back the pieces to the Tower, you know, to... to this person ruined you. That's the Ten of Swords. They ruined you. You've got two tens here. This was a final judgment, okay? And I feel like it was done in the dark, done behind your back. Things that you weren't aware of. This person just... Ugh. Oh, so sorry, Group 2. Who is this energy? It may be your spouse ex-spouse here because the ten of pentacles can be um ma someone you're married to but it also could be like generational wealth is like say a grandparent or a parent you know when you feel like you're going to get left something in the will and then you get taken out of it and i literally just heard a story the other day because i like to listen to my reddit i've mentioned this before and it was about a british woman that the auntie managed to persuade the grandmother to put everything in her name and the house was worth over £800,000. But when it came down to selling it, this is the karma because this is the title of the story. It was, it's amazing how quick karma comes for some people. And the house wasn't worth anything. She had to sell it for £80,000 because there was a major problem with the house, like the structure or the building, whatever. I'm not a builder, but you know what I mean. So I was like, wow. That's what I'm seeing here as well. So who is this energy? Who is this person that hurt group? No. Okay. The Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Who is this person that hurt them? okay this was a spouse the lovers okay so someone you were committed to doesn't necessarily have to be that it could be like a loved one you know like i said like a relative 
but where I'm seeing here that this is a more so of a relationship because of the Knight of Cups, this is like Prince Charming, this is someone that, you know, we invest our, our love and our energy into and we have the lovers with it as well. This is someone who I feel like may have betrayed you and let you go. They may have chosen someone else over you as well, group two. So you need to take what resonates. So we do have Gemini. Cancer, okay, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, let's get the karma. I'm going to start with Tarot first and then go into the Oracle card. So what is this energy's karma for her in group two? You know, you know, I said about that. There's a shack in the background there, like a like a cabin that's not doing very well, very shabby. You know, that could be where you're living right now. You know, having to put back the pieces when you've come from a ten of pentacles to nothing. What is this energy's karma? Knight of Wands in reverse. So we have the King of. Hang on. Yeah, the King of Cups. And I'm taking them this way, guys, because I like to use these ones for my karma readings. They're vice versa cards. And then we've got the Nine of Swords. And then we've got Strength. Strength. Yeah, Strength. Death. Okay. So we've got Scorpio and Leo Aries Sagittarius. Right, bear with me, guys. Now, if this energy released you, chose somebody else over you you know maybe there was a there was cheating going on here group two this person is you know where, where they thought they could move on with this person there is an inability to move on there is there is obstacles in this person's way the 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 love that they thought they had for this person is not what they thought it was going to be it's it's Ended up a bit of a disaster here. So it could be that this person, their karma is they're going to be cheated on. They thought this person was something. You know when you 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 see someone through rose-tinted glasses. I feel like this is what this person did. They, they had the wall pulled over their eyes. And it is because of their ego. This person is going to start feeling, whoever they're with or whatever's going on here, it's like they're going to start feeling very vulnerable. Maybe this person was very strong at the time when you knew them, you know, very confident. But this is, this is like someone is chiseling away at their confidence here. They're, you know, they're, they're doubting themselves. This is like self-doubt. It's like feeling weak, you know, um... Yeah, this, this person's not doing very good emotionally, mentally. And death. This is a bad change. The circumstances that they've got them into themselves into is bad. It's a bad situation or a bad change. But there's something holding this person back. Every time they try to, to, to get away from whatever they've got themselves into, they can't. It's like they're getting pulled back. It's like part of their karma. And they're looking for this light at the end of the tunnel with this nine of um, swords. But it's like it's it's not there. They're having a lot of nightmares. They take It's like Spirit is saying, take a good look at yourself, you know. Let me get a little bit more. I just want a little bit more here. What is this energy's karma for her in group two? Two of wands. Death. 
this stuck. Okay, we have the Four of Wands. I mean, that's the way it should be, but it did come out that way anyway. So, yeah, this, <clears throat> but you know what? They're stuck in there, stuck in an, un in an unhappy relationship or a marriage if this person moved on and got married, okay, committed themselves to some someone else. This, this, whatever, if you feel like this person moved on and they're happy and they're living their best life group too, no, they really are not. They've... And it's like I don't know what is holding it because it's a karma reading and I don't want to drag it out too long. There is something here that they cannot escape from this person. And whoever this person is that they got involved with is quite clever in the way they've made this person feel weak. You know, this I feel like this person was manipulated in a sense, always being manipulated into think that they're they're not worthy, if you know what I mean maybe also as well group two what i'm getting from this energy is is the reason they fear of moving on is the content the backlash of it all is like what are people going to say you know what is family members going to say you know they're going to most probably say i told you so so that's their problem anyway so let's get their karma so these are new so it's tough luck cards that i'm using so what is this energy's karma for her in group two Inability to achieve goals, which we saw that. Inability to move forward, inability to do anything really. Maybe this person's got them under lock and key. Uh, repeated patterns of failure. There you go. Maybe this person has a habit of doing this same thing over and over and over again and now you know sometimes what goes around comes around so if this is a repeated pattern because we do have the knight of wands and the knight of wands is seen as a player energy very promiscuous not faithful you know that kind of thing especially it's come out in reverse it's even stronger so you know maybe this is a thing that's may maybe happening to them now oh god that's a lot that's a lot So we have persistent feelings of fear and dread. Now, I said they're suffering with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, difficulty in trusting others. I mean, maybe this person's been taken for a ride, you know. Constantly feeling overwhelmed. Loss of meaningful relationships. There you go. Experiencing frequent conflict. Yep. Feeling haunted by the past. Inability to find peace and calm. Wow. Okay. And unexplained illnesses. Now, the thing is, group two, you know, this is the energy that, you know, the persistent feeling of dread. Maybe you can't f trust others, you know, feeling overwhelmed, you know, haunted by the past what you've had to rebuild everything again because you got played in in such a major way by this person good sorry so these what's the karma can be quite harsh okay so just a warning so what's this energy's karma for her in group two now, I said this person could be being betrayed because it's there. They're being stabbed in the back, just like you were stabbed in the back. They could experience a fire. Money's blocked. Why am I hearing like this is a trust fund person? There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe they rely on family money. This person comes from family money. So maybe um, if the family did not agree with what this person did, this is for some of you, they, they've been put on block.
inhabitable conditions. Now, I said to you guys, group two, that you're living, you're not living in a good place, okay? And I'm sure quite a few of us have lived in some dodgy places because I know I did <laughs> when I was younger. I mean, my God. Um, <coughs> that's actually how I ended up with problems with my lungs because of the damp in the places. Uh, so, you know, look what's happening here. This person could be living in uninhabitable conditions as well. Oh, I love this card. See, that's my karma knocking on the door card. And I say it often, karma does not forget your address. Weight gain. So they could be drinking, overindulging, you know. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Physically assaulted. Hidden enemies. Oh dear. Why am I getting this per? Ooh, why am I touching that? <laughs> this person may owe someone money and can't pay it back. That's just come through as well. Depression. No spiritual protection. There you go. You're going to get to a stage, or you may already have group two, a stage of being very comfortable and. and you know, you've got your coin and you, you're healthy and what have you. And this person's going to have to live with those consequences. Because, like I said, what goes around comes around. So, God, I really need to swap my desk. I'm on a right whinge today. <laughs> it's whingy. It's a whingy day. So, let's get you an angel number. So, for group two. So, you have 2929. Angel of challenge. Uh, challenge. Challenge, challenge, no challenge. Samel, Samel presents challenges as opportunities. Oh, that's clarified your first card. Face trials head on, knowing they are a catalyst for your personal growth and evolution. Trials, growth, evolution. You are. I see you coming out stronger. This, this. I feel like for some of you, group two, you may have ended up this person. You may have been a stay-at-home parent, that kind of thing. And you were codependent, financially codependent on this person. It may have even been financial abuse where this person controlled everything that you spent, you know, to get, to keep you where, oh, that was very weird. Okay, you guys are going to think this is really strange, okay, but you've got to listen to the signs and you've got to listen to, like, even the smells, okay, and I get quite a lot of activity up in this room and where I just said... There was a burning smell coming. I don't know where that just come from, but we've got fire here. But then I also said maybe this person owes someone money for some for the fun stuff. And I just smell the green stuff, okay? And no one in my house smokes that. I don't even, I don't touch that. Not since I was like 20 and I'm now 51. Yay me. <laughs> but that, that was a really strong smell. I'll take that as clarification. So they could be involved with something here that they've got addicted to and they owe money and it can end up turning into this because they can't afford to pay for it. I don't know why they come through. That's very weird. Okay. Ask a question, any question you want, group two. So for group two, peace spirit. Very strange. It's gone now. I should actually check the video when I'm done as well because usually I get orbs on my videos as well. Okay, ask your question. Okay, you've got two. Let's take them. So you've got time interference. There are other people's free will affecting this situation. And then until the lesson is learned. Unwanted situations will keep repeating until the lesson is learned. So that is in interesting. Hmm. So my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate you all. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. You guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey group three, so before we get started, want to just apologise for the noise, the windows open, like I said in the other groups, yay, we finally got some sun, <laughs> typical British weather, um, and also there's been a couple of complaints about my 
karma readings and I'm not going to change them up. But what I am going to do is because certain people are complaining about me saying, like talking about what happened. Okay, which I think is very important to know whether it's your pile. But anyway, they just want me to go in straight into the karma, but I will not do that. So what I'm going to do is there will be a timestamp for when this starts and there will be a timestamp with karma and you can go straight into the karma if you don't want to listen to what this person did or who this person is. So let's get started. So my loves, group three, yours is gift, the treasure inside. Now what I'm getting with this for you, group three, there is something very unique about you and whoever this person was that hurt you may have actually, you may have felt like you had to repress this gift of yours. So it could be, you know, spiritual gifts, it could be, you know, creative gifts, it could just be, you're different. And this person made you feel bad about that. So let's have a look, we'll get more information with the tarot. We'll do tarot and then we'll go into the karma. So tap me into group three, please spirit, and tell me what did this person do to group three to hurt them? What did they do? Don't do to hurt group three. Three of Pentacles. This could be a work environment. Someone at work. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What did this person do? Oh, I'm seeing you guys not being treated very well. Like your ideas and stuff were shut down. Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Tell me a bit more. What did this person do to hurt group two? Uh, two? I don't know why I said group two, group three. Death, you had to leave a, a situation here. The Ace of Swords. You couldn't be truthful to yourself. This is the problem. This is literally what I said here. You weren't be able to be you, the real you. So the Three of Pentacles is a working environment, you know, building solid relationships with your co-workers, you know, building towards a future here. But something happened here with the Ace of Pentacles, so maybe you missed out on an opportunity here. This person may have been promoted over you. It's like, I don't know whether this energy may have even taken your ideas, but you were shut down every time. This person made you feel... Um, it's like you questioned yourself. This person made you question yourself... But there was an ending here for you guys that I feel like you had to move on from a work situation here. Maybe you were pushed out. Maybe you weren't going anywhere. You were not going to be taken seriously. Who is this person, Spirit? We've got Scorpio. Who is this person that hurt group three? Who is this? Two of Pentacles. The Fool. Tell me more about the five ones. The Knight of Cups. Eight of Swords. This may have been a bully because the Knight of Swords could be seen as someone who is very aggressive, you know, has bully tendencies. Hmm. But yet there's an energy of this person. So this person could have been could be married or in a serious commitment with someone. They could have a family. Okay. This is someone that comes across as Prince Charming, you know, like butter wouldn't melt. They have the gift of the gab basically. So you wouldn't ever look at this person and think to yourself, that person's an a-hole. People wouldn't believe it. So maybe you tried to say something and people just was not having it here. And this person ended up I mean, this is the worst card in the tarot deck, is this Eight of Swords. This is being in a mental prison. This is feeling trapped, okay, by circumstances, by your situation. Um, it's like being imprisoned. It, 
this energy had you your your mind was like that going backwards and forwards like on a seesaw basically and i feel like for you guys okay and this is not not any disrespect to you guys i feel like you were unprepared when you met someone like this i feel like you've never met anyone like this how clever they were at manipulating other people and the situation even down to you as well it's like they played mind games so we do have cats of scorpio pisces as well so hang on i need a little bit more what did they do to group three Ten of Wands, Six of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant, Justice, the, oh, and the Chariot, the Lovers. This may have even been a romantic interest and maybe you told them no, so that's for some of you here. But this, this Ten of Wands, they caused you so much stress, you were exhausted. I feel like this person... I feel like they may have put a lot of workload onto you, you know, or a lot of responsibility onto you. So you would fail. This person was threatened by you. You know, you get people like that and it, it just doesn't make sense to me sometimes. But this is what they wanted. They wanted you to fail. They wanted you to not advance you know not get promoted that was their whole idea here is is to stress you out this could have been someone older this could have been someone that was literally you know into religion or a different background to you this person was very unfair to you here with justice they did something very wrong to you they may have even lied because they wanted you to move on they didn't want you in the company it's like they didn't see you fit in this is this was quite major this something that you went through here was quite big so we do have taurus we do have libra and we do have cancer as well so this this to me group three looked like a work environment here you know you had these gifts you were quite special and i feel like this person saw that and did not like that they saw you as a threat so what they did is they Put you in the eight of swords where you were very depressed doubting yourself confusion they may have put a lot of workload onto you but it may have been like mundane work you know or they may have even blamed you for things going wrong when it was them you know that kind of thing because they wanted you to fail okay so let's go into the karma i'm going to start with oracle first what is this energy's karma for her in group three so we have the ace of cups what is their karma and I like using these because they're vice versa cards. So if you see that's the right way, they come out that way. That's the wrong way. And um, that is the Knight of Swords. Or is that the Page? I don't know. I think it's the Page of Swords. What is their karma for hurting group three? So that is... I think that's the emperor that is the knight of pentacles and look at that that's actually quite bad so the wheel of fortune in reverse is really bad luck okay there's there's gonna be a I mean, look at this okay because i said about the bad luck unfortunate events okay things are going to be turning for the worst for this person and it could be because you know when i said about this person is like a charm it's like they convince people it's like butter wouldn't melt. That's all I can, you know, I don't know whether you guys have heard that saying, you know, some of you may not, British people will know what that means. It's like, you know, innocent. They come across as being really innocent and they're not. So this is what's going to be coming out about this person is this person feels like they're loved or they think they're loved. And, you know, people want them around, but this is going to backfire on them, backfire on them because people are going to start looking at them and seeing the true, their true selves. I can't even talk. But, so anyway, I'm seeing this person. See now, I'm seeing lack of ideas here. 
like failure here with the with the ace of cups now was they taking your ideas and running with them and making out it was theirs so because you're not there now to cover their ass it's backfiring on them this person is going to be experiencing a lot of sadness and a lot of pain because of this page of swords right here okay people in this work environment are too scared to speak out against this person but someone is going to be brave enough to start speaking out or the company is going to start noticing how bad this person actually is how manipulative they are because the emperor like this is it speaks of abuse of power okay really controlling and to the point of they're controlling the narrative, they're controlling everybody around them, but it's going to backfire. People are going to start seeing who this person really is and they're going to lose the respect and the love that people had for them. Okay, so I hope I explained that well. People are going to actually start seeing how unreliable this person is, you know, in the sense of maybe unreliable towards the company or just not, you can't rely on this person in general as a friend because this person will backstab you now here's the karma card in reverse here this is bad luck just pure bad luck unfortunate events okay so we have aries as well and taurus Virgo, capricorn so let's get some oracle karma cards so these are new these are called tough luck so what is this energy's karma for group three what is this person's karma for her in group three so we have habit of lying <laughs> or deceiving. But that's part of their karma, guys. It's literally what I was saying. That's what I, why I was just laughing there. Because their lies and their manipulation and their controlling and everything is literally going to be... Someone's going to come forward and blow everything out of the water, okay? Feeling unwelcome or rejected. Now, I just clarified that with the tarot cards as well. I said that people that used to love this person and wanted to be around them, they're not welcome anymore. People don't. People will stop trusting this person. You know, this person could have actually stolen something very important that you created and took it for themselves. That's come through as well. Repeatedly break breaking relationships. Yeah, look, people don't want to be around them. God. Frequent accidents or mishaps. Constant stress or anxiety. Because that's what they caused you with the Eight of Swords. What is this person's karma? What is their karma for hurting? Oh, you've got quite a few. We're going to take them. Why not? <laughs> so you've got inability to learn from past mistakes. Yeah. I don't think this person will ever even learn from past mistakes. Maybe they don't even believe in karma. It could be one of those people, you know. Unexplained anxiety or panic attacks. Persistent pessimism. Being overly critical of oneself or others. Well, that's that we can see that anyway, but I feel like it may even be towards ourselves as well. Always feeling misunderstood. But it's not feeling it. This person's got a serious problem. Okay. So these are quite brutal, these ones. So it's what's the karma. So what is this person's karma for her in group three? Okay, go for pay. Maybe they do it on the side, who knows? Maybe they have to do that, who knows? Physically assaulted, weight gain. Mm. Prison, okay. But that could be karma prison, okay? So, you know, take what resonates. Community hope. <laughs> 
sorry. My card mate, I'm such a child. The card makes me laugh. Um, borrowing money. So they may end up losing their job, guys. Body odours. Court case. Mm, so maybe this is something like tribunal kind of thing because we do have justice as well. So maybe you guys tried to report this to HR and they weren't listening, you know, because this person got away with it and you had no choice and you were pushed out. So this could be like for like here as well. So it could be something here where someone actually is going to take it further. Like, you know, tribunal at work, you know, where they get involved. I don't know how it's done up in other places. Oh, so I've got the midges are back. No fun stuff. I should put a star on them knickers. I'll put that there to hide that. Unhabitable conditions and money is blocked, and they're going to be portrayed as well. Hmm. So let's get you an angel number. So angel number for group three. nine two nine angel of purity gabriel gabriel the divine messenger heralds new beginnings embrace clarity and purity in your intentions and the universe will support your ventures clarity annunciation and beginnings so you know maybe you guys like i said you had to you got pushed out or you had to leave you may have got fired and this per you know this angel supporting you on your new beginnings so that's lovely so question time, any question you want to ask group three, ask away now, so for group three. Oh, for goodness sake, can we um, like not have that many spirit, please? Okay, oh, God. So in November, and that, was sitting on my hand so i am going to take that one so in november appreciate the gifts of life to help you discover the joy available to you each day and worth waiting for don't try to rush the process some things need time to grow when their time is right it will happen so maybe some of you are still involved in this situation right here as well so yeah okay my loves so i'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for staying and watching guys um and if you're new here please consider subscribing i'd love to have you and thank you for all the support you ch uh, show my channel guys i really love you anyway wherever you are you have a beautiful day much love